Today I am cleaning her altar. I'm just basically dusting it and um, I'm gonna, every once in a while, I don't want to say every week because I'm, I, I'm sure there's weeks I don't do it, but I don't smoke, um, but I know that tobacco is a purifier and she is fond of tobacco. Uh, I've also heard that <clears throat> if you are not a smoker, you don't have to offer her a cigarette. Um, you know, especially if you don't, if you really don't like it, then I don't recommend you, you do. But, um, I do want, like, I bought her a pack of Marlboro cigarettes, probably, I don't know, months, months, months ago. Once in a while, I'll light a cigarette on her altar, or, um, like, if I'm gonna have the door open, because I, I don't like smelling like cigarette, or, um, I'll just turn it on, like, right now. I'm just gonna turn on this tiny little piece I've left, and I'm gonna blow smoke to the statues, um, spray the statues and I just wanted to kind of show how I do it so I took everything off her altar and um, I'm I have to clean up there too that was up there was when I was really just trying to be more secretive about the practice and I think in the, one of the beginning videos all I had I didn't have none of that background I just had those little skulls and one candle and a glass of water um, so if you really need to hide it, that's all you need to do, like buy a skull and just tell people that you like skulls and uh, put a candle. So anyways, I'm going to, so actually let me take it out before I do it. I don't do it the exact same way every single time. Um, I switch it up a little bit. I just bought some new herbs. Uh, let's see. So I'll spray, uh, I mean, I'll blow smoke on the candles and then I'll just spray one of these sprays. I was glad to get my hand on one of these these are super popular in mexico and i found a botanica near me that actually carried them so um yep let's see what else and then i'll usually spray the statues with this is siete machos that i just keep i pretty much keep all my spiritual colognes and spray bottles just to make it accessible oh my gosh i just knocked over her candle this one see all the wax went to the side oh goodness gracious okay okay so uh let's see like this for example is kananga water i'll just i have the bottles put away i'll just refill it and i'll keep it in spray bottles um just an idea for some of you this one is what is it called oh my god i was forget the name of this one. Oh, Pompeya. Pompeya. Cologne, uh, lotion. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Florida water. I also have it in, in a, um, spray. And then holy water that I collect from a church. Also keep in a spray. So it's just like a practical way that you can have it. So what I was trying to say was, uh, this, this was the reason I started talking about that. Uh, I recently bought and again, I, I I just wanted to buy it to have it, but after this, I'm not going to get it again because I think it's just your intention and whatever you make for her. But I've always wanted to have like a cologne that was especially of hers that had her logo or whatever. So I got it off of eBay and um, so I'll put either her cologne or which I put in the spray bottle or Siete Machos, whatever, whatever I feel like using that day. So, let's see. And I can't lie. <clears throat> Even though I don't smoke, uh, I can't say I don't enjoy taking little puffs. It's weird. It's weird. It's like, I don't like it, but I kind of enjoy it. Eh, whatever. But no, I'm not going to smoke. I'm not. No. Uh, I don't. I don't like it.
I'm choking. <laughs> Okay, and this is at the end, the butt. It's like burning my finger. So I usually just, when it gets like this, I'll pass it. Oh, God. Let me put the phone. Kind of like a, just like if it was an incense, basically. But this is, this cigarette is finishing. Okay, enough of that. So that's fine. Just a little... Puff is fine. Uh, where do I put this out? Okay, then, okay, I'm going to spray some holy water. on her altar let me get the candle back out of the way oh my gosh I probably shouldn't have lit it before I did all this and now I'm gonna use her spray so when this break comes out you can see it like covers it and it's like white foam but it'll turn clear and it smells so freaking good I just kind of like spray it in the room Ugh, it smells good all right so I'm um, I do like to dry off the statues a little bit because that spray gets super wet and I'll just spray her cologne, the one I got for her. And I especially like to dry the pendants, her pendants. Um, I don't want them to get ugly. They're so gorgeous. This one came with the scythe off, though. The person told me to send it back. I got it on Etsy, but... I mean, I think they were intending on me to pay shipping. Like, that. I, I don't know. It came broken, but whatever. I just kept it, and I super glued it together. But it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. So, as you can see, it's already going away, turning clear. But like I said, I'm going to put clean the, her statue so I put these in her little chest with the corn of different colors and this ring which I used like imbue her energy imbue never know how to say that word so I'll just take it off and just kind of pat it down a little bit and something I did to the statues was those corn that I just showed you that I specifically bought for divination with her um, after buying the book Magia Magia, which was this one, which actually I took it out last night to read it, some things again. Um, anyways, I got this, the corn, right? And then so the dark one, which is like a dark, dark red, is supposed to represent like the black. And then the white one, obviously. And the red one. So I really wanted to put what each color on the statue, especially the red, like because of what the corn signifies and everything in relation to Santa Muerte. And yeah. So okay. Uh, what else did I want to say? I just kind of want to show um, what I do like when I kind of cleanse the statues. There's been other times where I'll run them underwater. I don't. I, I don't know. I just feel like the running of the water like it's like a cleansing it just each time it's it's kind of different so now i just put her back so these you know what that's good that i'm doing this so i could show you guys like i had said that back there <clears throat> i got from goodwill right it was like some kind of wine rack or something i spray painted it and i i don't know i just kind of wanted to 
I don't even know how to describe it. That kind of whole atmosphere type situation, that's what I wanted for her. I just, I have to spray paint it there. So, and these, and I wanted her to be high. Like I wanted when I'm at her altar, because this is a desk where I sit down at. So I wanted her to be kind of higher, like up there. So I thought what to do, and I got these from Dollar Tree, and I super glued them together, the little wood bins, and then I just spray painted them. So um, it was like three of them fits perfectly in there. I do want to get another three, another three, so she could be higher. <clears throat> but I haven't been able to find them. Um, I have to go check. So anyways, yeah, I do plan on doing another three uh, to have her even higher off her like this area and then we'll just put this one here sometimes i'll have the red one in the middle i whatever or whatever uh the color is that i feel i don't know that i feel like uh i don't want to say work with for that day well, whichever one draws me more for that day or that time but sometimes i've had the, the red one in the middle and then I'll put obviously each candle. These little candle holders I found at A Botanica. They're just brass candle holders. And look, if I'm completely honest, it's a pain in the butt to be um, having to change the candles. And every time I put a candle, I cleanse it and I consecrate it. Um, it's obviously cheaper and easier to maintain these right but i don't know i really really like i prefer uh those i just feel like i can't it's very hard to put into words but i just prefer those um i think i am gonna start having the glass ones though on my altar just because it like i said it's easier and then especially now when i i'm about to finish school and start working more it's gonna be easier for me just to come home and uh, like on a regular basis have the glass veladoras is what they're called candles lit and anyways for everything else on her altar like this little owl um same thing something i'll cleanse it with something i'm spraying uh, siete machos i'll either dry it or leave it whatever and i'll put it back on her altar i can't wait until i have my own place where I don't have to keep putting her things away anymore. Um, like the person I live with, he went to work this morning. And so that's why I take out the statues. Whenever he is here, <coughs> I only have this one, which is the reason why I painted it the three colors. Um, like to represent the three, the three energies. And I'll keep it like in a little corner in there. And the little chest, I have it closed with her pendants, and that stays up there. So every single day, pretty much, I take them, I put them away, and I take them back out. I put them away and take them back out. So I can't wait until the day where I don't have to do that anymore. Like I said, I'm gonna start working, and um, I need to pass my my massage therapy test, and then um, hopefully I can save. With her help and i will be able to move out on my own until then i that's basically just what i have to do and i know that she appreciates the effort um that i put into keeping her altar and taking her out and putting her back in so i keep her basically i bought like a bible uh book the case thing and I wrap, each time I put her away, I wrap her in bubble paper. And I'll put the three statues in here. And in this little sunglass thing, I keep the little one and the gold one that I painted gold. So that is that. Uh, what else? Her three crystals to amplify the energy in the altar. And by the way, the candles, like let's say if you're... If you're working with a specific energy of Santa Muerte, I don't know how right this is, but I feel like, I don't know, it, it would be good if I could get validation from somebody who knows a lot from working with her. But 
what I'm trying to say is like, for example, if you're going to work with the white energy and you're petitioning her for something, I'll put it in a triangle, her candles in the form of a triangle with the point being the color of the energy I'm working with. Like that. But if I'm not really, if it's just, uh, if I'm just basically like a, like grateful type of situation, then I will just leave them in a straight line and then these i just kind of switch around in different areas the crystal quartz and something else is which i honestly i don't I, I don't know what to do is the obsidian mirror so the obsidian mirror that i got i think i got it from etsy it's from mexico okay the obsidian mirror let me show you this book I also got. This book. The Art of Black Mirror Scrying. I am trying to see how to properly use it. So some people say it's okay to just leave it on her altar open, you know, like that at all times. Some people say, like the book says, that you should keep it covered. I'm not a hundred percent sure what to do um there's been times where when i've had it i just lean it up against her altar back there then there's other times where like yesterday i had it all day with her crystal ball uh, on the mirror i don't know from that aspect what i'm doing right or wrong um i don't know i don't know i do want to talk to other people that that know uh more what their opinion is and I was informed by one of them that um, it's okay to keep it like on her altar at all times. Now, I feel like common sense would be, because I always ask why, like, but why, why is that done? Um, I guess to reflect negative energies. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so I still need to find out about that. What else? Her incense. And this table, all right, so another thing is uh, t a tablecloth or a mantle, right? I've heard from some people that you should always, always have a tablecloth or mantle. Other people say it's not that big of a deal. Personally, the I don't mind having one, but the reason why I don't is because of the candles that I use. Um, I just feel like it's safer if the candle were to fall on here than catch on fire on plastic or cloth. So that is that. These are still the mazapans that I had from before when I mentioned in another video, an offering. Um, I don't eat them a whole lot, so I've heard that it's okay to... If it's something like bread or, or food offering that you gave her, then you should take it either outside and maybe feed it to an animal that's in the street, as you know, or just... Um, I'll, or you should put it like under a tree like to dispose of it. Um, when it's candy, I've heard that people eat it, you know, after it's been a while on her altar. I'm not, a, I like these, but I'm not a super crazy fan. So I'm not sure what to do with all this candy. I'm just going to leave it on her altar until I want to eat it, I guess. Uh, what else? Oh, I had her shot glass that I poured yesterday. And... And her glass of water, which I'm going to switch out. So that's that. Um, what else? There was there was other things I wanted to mention, but I think I'm going to end it for this video. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me see if I make one later.